us all still at home, I think we all need a new crime drama to enjoy, don't you think? Hell yeah. Yes. Luckily for us, ITV's The Bay is back for a second series. Love the show. Couldn't be happier. Take Stars it. of the show, Daniel Ryan and Taheen Modak join us now. Morning, guys. Morning, Lovely guys. to have you on the show. Listen, this is going to be a really tough one for us because uh, how many have you seen? Two. I've seen two episodes. And I've only got one to go. So I'm just, all I've got in my head now is no plot spoilers, no plot spoilers, no plot so spoilers. So you didn't wait. You went on the hub. You oh, I went on, on the hub. hub. I got the hub working and I went and on the hub. And you binged it. a miracle. And, yeah, and I <laughs> binged it. I'm So I'm almost there. But listen, congratulations on, on both series. Um, it must be so wonderful when you're working on a show like that. And you know, I know the first series rated so well. And now you're back for the second series. The reaction must be, must be great for you. Tahin, you happy? <laughs> Pretty happy, I'm yes. not sure. <laughs> no, uh, Yeah, I mean, you can't hope for anything more. Pe people love crime dramas, and we hit, obviously, a seam that hadn't been uh, mined before, and uh, people have really gone with it. People are loving, you know, people are going back after watching Series 2 because they missed it last time and watching Series 1. So, you know, I think ITV Hub, is uh, probably hemorrhaging at the moment with yeah. the amount of uh, downloads that it's getting. And Daniel, when you're doing a series like this, when you was doing series one, do you, can you ever tell that it's going to be a success or are you just like, oh, I don't know if it's any good, I haven't got a clue? Can you ever tell? I think it's really, really hard. I think it's um, because you know, it's something about crime drama. I don't know whether it's particularly us in this country because they're making them in Denmark, they're making them in you know Sweden and loads in America. I don't know. We, we it's something that we'd love to watch. And uh, all I can say is Dara wrote brilliant scripts. So you just hope that you know they do a good job in casting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Who but, knows? You know, it's and. Uh, yeah. It's funny though, isn't it? Because it's it's a terrific procedural. It's like a classic kind of crime drama. But we, we're buying into all these stories of uh, of the police as well and the families that you're investigating. So it's like you said, it's so well written. It's almost more than that, isn't it? It's, just, it's you know, it's not just a classic cop drama. It sort of reminds me a little bit of um, of Unforg uh, Unforgotten as well, which is another one of my favourites. I think it's just got that kind of. It... I always think of it as a as a family, a relationship drama that has a kind of cop theme running through the middle of it. It's about people. They're all very, very interesting characters, whether they're the guests, and I use that term loosely because it's their series as much as it's ours. We're just we're just there to you know to be a constant through it, um, and and work, you know help the audience work it out. But um, it's it's. You know, it, I mean, it's working, and uh, we couldn't be happier. And Tahin, is it, this is like your first gig after drama school, is that right? Like you were two days out or something. Congratulations! Amazing. So, I was three, yeah, I was three days out of drama school um, in Wales in a farm, uh, and then I got a call saying, "Yeah, would you like to be a part of this this brand new ITV drama?" I remember at the the read through, Dara, our writer, came up to me and said. Um, Thank you so, so much for taking this role. And I'm there thinking, I was never, ever going to turn it down in the first place. So, sort of <laughs> Tahin, did you, did you style it out when that happened? You were like, you know what, it's no problem. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, there's a lot of other offers, but, you know. I pretended that I chose to do this, even though that was the only job that I had on the table at the time. So, yeah, I stuck with that just a little bit. Me too. <laughs> and Tahin, your character uh, is uh, Med, DC Med, and he's kind of like a trainee family liaison officer. And it kind of, yeah. it's kind of like art imitating life. So not only was you the newbie, you know, tr in training to be an actor, you was kind of like the newbie yeah. in the character. Was it, was it a bit like art imitating life? It kind of was because you know it might, it was my first time stepping onto a set. And so I kind of just harness the nerves as as Tahim, the actor, and just use that for Med because he was going through the exact same things that I was, go I was going through, you know, being around loads of experienced individuals, Dan, Morven, amongst many others. And so, yeah, I just harnessed that energy. Um, so kind of, you know, hopefully it's still good acting, but... Um, yeah, kind of definitely a sort of art imitating life, as you and say. Let's, let's talk a little bit about Morven. She's a terrific actor, isn't she? What was it like working with her, guys? She's great. Amazing. I mean, thorough, 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 thorough. She is 
on it from you know six o'clock in the morning she's bang on questioning scenes why is this happening why am i doing that you know you know, her research is incredible. She tries to stay in accent. Obviously, she's Glaswegian. Wow. Um, she lives in Glasgow, yeah. And um, she tries to stay in accent all the way through it. Uh, I mean, not strictly in the green room, but she's always a little bit northern yeah. for the whole time. What are you and, saying, Dan? Uh, are you a bit more slapdash with your prep? <laughs> Just rock up. <laughs> <laughs> bit like you, Dermot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Never true, I've spoken. You, you had some fans, though, on the show. Didn't you have Tyson Fury? Did he rock up? Is he a fan of the show? What happened there, Daniel? Were you there? Were you there that day, Shaheen? <laughs> I mean, I, no, I, well, I, I wasn't I actually in, and I just heard that when I came in the next day, all the all the uh, facilities guys were ha were showing their selfies with Tyson Fury because he came. I think we were filming. I think we were filming on the beach or at the seafront, and I think he was on a jog and he came down um, and uh, you know wanted to know what was going on. So no, I haven't seen him yet, but you know who knows? And who knows? Maybe. Just lastly, Dan, yeah. didn't you um, didn't you get mooned as well while you were doing it? <laughs> But that's that's in my that's in my rider. I mean, I, I'm surprised. <laughs> now, yeah, no, there was some. Uh, we were filming outside a pub, and uh, there were some uh, young teenage boys and girls going by. But the boys decided that um, I didn't know the mooning was still a thing, really. Yeah, but right. it obviously that's is. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. It's well, the show the show the bay continues Wednesday 9 p.m. ITV, but you can also binge it on ITV Hub, which is brilliant. Daniel Tahin, thank you so much for Thanks, joining us. Guys. Thank you Great guys. To see you. Lots of love. <laughs>